Today, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D map of a site using drone imagery in Pixford Mapper. We'll walk through the steps to build a project, process the images, and even calculate the volume of materials like sand or cement. Let's get started. The Pixford Mapper interface where users can choose to work with a demo project or access helpful resources. Inside Projects tab. From Demo Project, you can open and process a demo project to explore Pixford Mapper's features without needing your own dataset. Inside Help section. From Getting Started, Quick Start Guides and Instructions are available. Troubleshooting, help with solving common issues or errors users might encounter. Training, resources for learning Pixford Mapper, likely including tutorials or learning paths. Example datasets, access to sample datasets for practicing or testing the software's capabilities. Video Academy, video tutorials and walkthroughs to help users understand and master the tool. Community, links to forums or user groups where users can ask questions, share tips, or get support from the Pix4D community. First, let's create a new project. Open Pixford Mapper, click New Project, and give it a name. Next, upload your drone images. These images will be used to generate a 3D map of the site. Once you've selected the images, hit Next and define the coordinate system. Now that we have the images loaded, let's generate the 3D map. Click on Start to process the images. Pixford Mapper will analyze the photos and automatically generate a point cloud, which is a collection of data points that represent the surface of the site. Once the initial process is done, we'll have our point cloud. You can see a rough representation of the site. This gives us the foundation for the 3D model. OW, let's apply textures. Pixford Mapper will use the images to add realistic textures to the 3D model. Once the texture is applied, we have a fully detailed 3D map of the site. From here, you can render images or even create videos. Just place render cameras along the path you'd like to capture, and you can generate smooth visuals for presentations or analysis. Lastly, let me show you how to calculate volumes. Go to the Volumes tab, select the area of interest, like a pile of sand or cement, and Pixford Mapper will calculate the volume covered by that object. Simple as that. And that's it. In just a few steps, we've gone from drone images to a fully textured 3D map, created renderings, and calculated volumes. Thanks for watching, and happy mapping!